And a couple more things before we wrap up our show, starting with, we got ourselves a road rage incident, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Check this out. So, if you didn't see it at the beginning of the video, you can either trust us or rewind and see it with your own special eyes. The driver that gets rammed uh, threw something out at the window? Yeah, out of that's window. what it looks like. And there's a TNT Lawn Services truck that rams a car. Which like that rams that car? I mean, <sighs> it did, it doesn't look like they bashed the tail end in, but they were they revved up as both yeah. cars were moving and hit the back of this car. Which just like what a boneheaded move, dude! It is so easy to lose control of a car if you like hit the corner wrong or something. They could have killed people. Yeah. Realistically, like it doesn't matter what they were doing in those cars, because basically, as soon as this video came out, there was some discourse over whether or not these people deserve to get rammed. Yeah. Why did the video start conveniently right here at this point? Right, right. And I get that. I do. And realistically, it's not impossible that the people in the other cars were being total shits. But regardless, this was not the move, dude. So TNT Lawn Services actually replied to the video saying, what this doesn't show is the fact you and your friend were throwing garbage out the window at our truck, slamming on your brakes, swearing, yelling profanities. That's the same as swearing, isn't it? Right. And you were given the reckless driving ticket per the witnesses. Mm -hmm. So obviously there was more going on here. But you don't ram anybody for any reason. Right. Like at that, at that point, dude, just pull over. Let them get some space in front of you. Yeah. You know? Yikes. There's just... Two wrongs don't make a right in right. this instant. And there's no way that it turns out well for anyone if you do that. Yeah, you both look like idiot moron right. assholes. Right. Well, and the worst part, too, is like TNT doesn't come out of this looking good by defending their employee, which no, sucks. No, no. It sucks, the, you know? They say we have addressed any issues on our side with the crew. I hope so. Yeah, I would certainly hope so, too. Did you give them a stern talking to? I we, mean, we would appreciate it if you would stop calling the office and leaving profanity on the voicemail system. This doesn't resolve anything. When it comes to something like this, where people could like actually get physically hurt, like a clap back might hurt your feelings, but it's not going to land you in the damn hospital. I'm trying to think of any situation in which ramming into the car in front of you would be okay. And I can't think of a blessed one. I can think of exactly one because I saw a video of it. Okay. So there were these two cars. It's like a dash cam video and you're in the POV dash cam car. A car in front of them stops while they're in this underpass. So they're locked in. They can't go anywhere but forward. They stop in front of them. Four guys pile out of the car and start. Coming oh, yeah. toward. Yeah. And so that guy drives forward. The people scatter because they're going to get hit otherwise. And I think he kind of rams the back and like the This doors is like in Russia or something. Something like that. Yeah. Terrifying. Some, some country where they have lots of insurance scam artists. Oh, no, no. It, was, it didn't and look people like that an insurance can scam. disappear you. It looked like it was an attack. Right. No, but I'm but saying yeah. there is a proliferation of dash cam videos oh. in Russia in particular. Yes, because of that. Because of the, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, that'd be terrifying to have like four right? mobsters, gangsters <gasps> come out at you. Yeah. In that case, ram away. Yes. And finally, let's end our show with a tale of teenage mischief. <laughs> One Bonneville High School student, Jory Anderson's graduation prank. <laughs> Maybe you saw this on our shorts or our reels, whatever, uh, TikToks last week. He was at graduation. He mm -hmm. tripped and tumbled dramatically off stage while collecting his diploma. Check this out. So I actually thought that this was real when I first saw it. I didn't realize it was supposed to be a prank. Yes, a lot of people did. Jory said he wanted to end his high school career with a bang. <laughs> and you can actually, did you hear his sister laughing in there? <laughs> right, I did, I did. That's his sister, Jade, mm -hmm. who did the taping. That's and um, yeah, Jory said, it happened so fast, but I remember getting it. He over, it looks like he overdid it a little bit. Right. Like, I do kind of wonder if he meant to fall off the stage. Yeah, I think he meant to trip and fall, but he went completely <laughs> off the stage. Right, right. But, bro, that's a full commitment <laughs> to the bit. And we got to hand it to you this week. You are IFAF. Crisp high five. 21 finger gun salute. And chef's kiss. To you. To your little prank there. <laughs> 
and your sister, who's hilarious. It's her laugh that kind of cued me, mm-hmm. teed me up a little bit and made me think, oh, wait a minute here. The person okay. videoing this knows the guy and knows what's up. Here's the thing, though. Okay. If my brother actually did trip on accident and fall off the stage, I, too, would be laughing. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, that's what siblings do, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they mock your pain. Yeah. Did you ever have any high school pranks? Um, memorable high school pranks that actually I did pull one. Oh, you did. I thought it was very clever. What'd you do? It was not. I bought a thing of plastic dinosaurs and hid them around the school on my last day of school for the next year to find. That's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, we, this was it. One of the last episodes we mentioned it, it like a year been. ago. almost. Yeah. yeah. And I put them in some pretty obscure places. Like I think I put one under the sink in the women's bathroom or something. Like you weren't going to find that unless you were a plumber. Right. <laughs> yeah. Where you would find the little a little Jesus that we yes. follow on Instagram. Yeah, this little guy. <laughs> These days. Yeah. Hold up the little Jesus. Yeah. We see him everywhere. Yeah. You can find him on Facebook, I think. Yeah, Instagram. I basically I I did the um not creationist version of I did the evolution <laughs> yeah, <laughs> version right. of that. <laughs> Sorry. The dinos. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um and I think in my high school once like a student brought some milk in a Tupperware container like on the first day of school. Uh-huh. Forgot about it for a couple of weeks, so then decided to keep it in his locker all year. And I don't know who did it. Maybe Kevin knows. Kevin, do you know? That is foul. Yeah, opened it up on the last day of school. Cleared out dear old IF high. <laughs> okay. Like it was nasty. It was a it was a biohazard emergency. But was there a specific reason why he brought a Tupperware full of milk? I did want to. Was he planning on drinking it? Maybe he had some cookies in his lunchbox. And I then don't he know. forgot. Yeah, maybe he just had Homelander type tendencies. <laughs> maybe.